Welcome back data leaders and learners. The time for the first program has come. In this video, we are going to go through considerable number of steps. We will understand how to build our first Python program. And then as I promised in the last video, we will look into how to use GitHub and upload that first program from your own GitHub repo, from your own operating system to your GitHub repo. I will be walking you through this as a step by step process. Once you follow this for a couple of files, couple of scripts, then it will become a habit for you. The more you follow this routine, the faster you will, you will learn this programming language. As I already explained, the better you are able to store your older code, you can refer to it whenever you want and also you can share it with others and you can showcase it also i will explain to you all those stuff as we go on uh, much more deeper into the python uh, coding and then once you can do all these things your motivation will start improving drastically the most important thing is how you motivate yourself right let us begin with our first program In a first program, what will be your challenge? Your challenge will always be to get the program to execute. That will be your end goal, right? Then in order to make it execute, you need to go into each and every detail of the program. First, you need to check about the steps, what steps you are going to take in order to write a program. That is your first step. Second, you need to check whether these steps will work or not in python for that you need to first of all find the command that is where the research stage comes so you need to test and research and finally you collect all those commands put it in a file add comments to it and execute it is as simple as that we will be doing that step by step in this video as i explained decide do it in command line update in text file and go for execution our objective is going to be simply to print hello world in fact the answer is right there in the objective itself for a person who is unaware of python it will not be obvious in order to find how to print hello world the command in python is simply print hello world so i will explain to you how to check this let me go to the command line interface right now if i go to command line interface that you are seeing here this is my terminal that you are seeing here i will go to the folder where i will be storing all my python documents i will be storing all my uh, just a minute uh, i'll be storing all my discussion files in this folder okay and in this folder when i execute python just type python my python linux python terminal will open the terminal here is actually linux shell terminal but right now with this three arrow marks, I am inside Python terminal. I am no more in Linux terminal. This is very, very important. Whatever variables I am giving here will be inside this terminal session. So after I execute Python command, the session with Python has started. In order for me to print hello world, I need to just type print open bracket hello world close bracket and it prints this is how you first test in command line interface the this kind of testing whether the command works in command line interface is the first and foremost activity you may be wondering how did i know that print will do the printing that is the next step 
of research. So we have to first of all understand the syntax, the various commands available in the programming language and then we start working on it. But in Python, there are certain building blocks that you need to take. We are first of all learning Python for interacting with the real world or, or the physical world. And physical world, we need to print stuff, we need to show stuff, we need to we need to uh, in, inform the people who are using our products that what is happening. And for that, foremost, what you need is to give an output. And how will you check the output? By using print and hello world. After doing this, you know that it is printing. What we do? We actually use exit open and close bracket, enter. This exit open close bracket will, will complete the Python session and come out of it. It will exit the Python session. Now I am back in shell prompt. I am back in shell prompt. Here what I do is, I create a new file called hello.py. The hello.py is the Python script that I am going to use. The vim is the editor that I am going to use. Uh, for the first, when I, when I type vim and press hello.py, this will open the vim editor in my command prompt itself. In my command line itself. As I have been insisting the videos all along, that I will be extensively using command line only. The purpose of this is to not only improve the speed, but also to understand the concepts at a deeper level. With GUI, such a ability will be very, very tough to come by. It will take a lot of time. But in case of command line, it will be initially uh, challenging. After that, it is going to be extremely smooth. Before going into the command line, let us go back and look at our look at our presentation. In our presentation, we have found the command that we have to use print hello world. We have tested it in CLI, and then we have uh, the uh, understanding of the syntax. We have to yet to do. We have not yet done that, but we have executed the command in the CLI and we saw the output has come. The next what we are going to do, we are going to run the, we are going to write the script. So what we are going to do, we are going to just copy this like this, whatever I have typed in. Okay, never ever do that. If you copy and if you are going to paste it there, it is not going to be helpful for you you should always type shebang win python and after that we provide the comment the comment is this program will print hello world that is the comment we provide and then in the next we type the command print hello world okay that is all the script requires and now I am going to save this by using wq command and I am going to exit when I have exited it as you saw, it is just a three line script. I have a header here. This header is specifically for Linux environment. You don't need to use this even without that it will work. The command here, the comment here, this program will print hello will not be executed by the compiler. And finally print hello world is going to be executed by the compiler. Let us go back again to the presentation. If you go to the presentation and see the next command that you are using is python and your script.py. In case of our 
in case of my uh, command in case of my program the script name is hello.py so i should type python hello.py and if i press enter i should get hello world so as i told you that whatever i wrote whatever i explain uh, whatever i typed inside the com inside the file hello.py got executed got printed here when i use the python hello.py command so this is how you execute the script our first and foremost challenge has been completed if you are able to do this execution if you can use python and give a space press uh, type hello.py and uh, execute and you got this output your first program is done you are you have become you have started to become a programmer right now you want to show this and keep this as a backup for your future reference what we are going to do next is we will be we will be first of all in this video we will first of all open the github account and we will create a repo once we create the repo in the next video we will see how to upload this file into the repo and then upload it into github website into github server all the steps will be taken one by one first of all we are going in this video to github.com and open a new repo in your account so let us go to github repo now this is my github repo if you open your github repo you will have your account uh, name here and your account uh, your picture here and the new repositories can be created in this area so click on new once you click on new such a new repository will open give a name you can say python practice python practice after that you can leave the description as optional however it is always a good practice to provide the description of anything that you create in programming this is like a comment that you provide in the program so we say this repo contains the first programs i wrote on python you can keep this repo either public or private i am going to leave it as public you can see this python practice in my in uh, as a public repo if you are going to search for it you can add a readme at this moment don't worry about adding a readme however look at this add.gitigno this is important click on the gitigno template and type here python and select python what this will do is it will select all the library related details of python programs and stop it from uploading to github repo this might be little confusing at this moment i it will be it will make sense as we start progressing in this course as of now select python in the drop down after typing it license you can choose none this is how you create the repo now click on create repository the moment you create the repository a new page will open with the name python underscore practice and you will see that your git ignore is created and it suggests that you add a readme and you are ready your repo is right now ready what we are going to do is in the coming video we will clone this repo and then see how we can use how we can copy the hello.py how we can copy the hello.py script that i created into this repo that will be done in the next video so stay tuned for that again to recap in this video we understood how to do a very simple program very simple program using uh, what are the steps to take for writing a simple program how to research for the command and then how to uh, how to create the uh, how to create the script 
by using this and execute the script using python and your script name command to get the hello world output after that we saw how to create the github repo next we will see how to upload this script into github repo till then stay tuned and have a great time